So you're an aspiring engineer. Let's do the next beginner's tutorial. That's number two out of 16. Just before we start, uh, go ahead and download the drawing for this part, part number two. And uh, I've got mine on a clipboard and I keep it right next to my screen and I can see what's going on. The thing you want to know is what are the sizes and the dimensions of the, com of the parts of this component. So uh, if you download that, you'll, get the, uh, you'll have the information right there with you and you'll be able to practice when you're not watching me. Okay, let's start a new sketch and click on the sketch button. Now, you, you've actually got three planes in space there. Let me explain a little thing here. Open up the origin, and you notice that you've got several axes as well as planes. You can tell which one's which by turning off the light next to them. Notice how the, gr the red axis disappears and comes back on as I toggle on that light and off. There's the green one, and there's the blue one. The, uh, the red, the green, and the blue are traditionally known as X, Y, and Z. I like to draw on the XY plane, and perhaps we'll talk more about that another day. So click on that plane, and it'll turn to face you, and you're ready to start. Because this is a symmetrical part, as you can see from the drawing, I'm going to use the, uh, the rectangle that comes from the center. So you can uh, click on the center, and then you see that it's uh, really centered up nicely. So uh, this one needs to be uh, 48 wide, so I'm going to drop down the sketch menu and find the sketch dimension. Notice that there's a keyboard shortcut of D, but uh, anyway, this is supposed to be 48 right there. And the other dimension is 30. So there's our, our sketch. So what we'll do is we'll stop the sketch at this point, and uh, we've got a simple rectangle there. And next to the sketch menu, there's the Create menu, and there's the Extrude tool. There's also the big button in the menu, in the ribbon bar. So let's click on that. It opens up the Extrude dialog. Click once on the profile. It turns blue. We've got an arrow there we can drag with a mouse uh, and put that anywhere you like. And when you mouse, you can actually see it updating and it actually snapping to, uh, to points on the grid. We want to have a particular size and if you look at the drawing, you'll see that that's 80. So the field is focused. Type in just 80, hit press enter, and there we have it. Now, let's put in a couple of features. You might be wondering why I don't do a little bit more work on the sketch itself. And that's because the sketcher is a tricky beast and uh, it takes a little bit of uh, experience. Now, just doing this uh, is experience enough and you'll soon you'll be pretty good at it. Let's uh, do another sketch. Click on the sketch tool. This time you can either click on the, uh, on the planes or one of the faces of the object. So I'm going to click on this end, which will then turn to face me, and I'll be using the sketch tools, and it will automatically take that plane. Anywhere on that plane, it will be sketching. So I'm going to uh, use a, an arc, and we'll use the, uh, the center point arc. And the center point can be anywhere along here. And if I mouse over this uh, sketch profile, you'll see that there's a, uh, an indicator that we've got the center point. Click there, click somewhere off to one side, follow it around, and uh, this, do the same down the bottom. Find that center point off to the side, and anywhere where we see the indicator that we I've made those arcs no particular size, so I'll use the line tool and put a line across them. One on top and one below. Then I'm going to go to the sketch menu and find the sketch dimension tool and put a radius on each of those. And of course those are 12 going by the drawing. Same with the other one. And that's our part uh, sketched. Let's now go to the um, let's go to the uh, the feature creation. First of all, we'll use stop sketch. And that gives us the, uh, the part ready to go. We're going to use the extrude tool, but this time we're going to change it so that it's not a new body, but a cut. Then we'll select the 
the two arcs that we've just created. Didn't have to hold down the shift key to select both of those. Then uh, let's uh, look at the other options that we've got in the dialog box. We're starting from the profile plane, which we've just chosen as the sketch plane. We're going in one direction and the distance is going to be through all and uh, I'm going to go in the opposite direction here, so I'll just grab the little arrow, move it that way. I can actually snap it onto the end of the part there, but I'm just going to go past and then re-select the uh, extent to all. And then we click OK and our part's completed. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? But what you need is plenty of repetition and practice on all of these points. It's going to get a little bit more complicated in the near future, so uh, there we have it. So if you like that one, click like and then subscribe and not get notifications for the next several uh, parts. See you next time.